So yes, I've built my very first FPV drone and that's what this video is going to be about. So now this isn't the very top of the line FPV quad that you might expect, but it's actually an ultimate budget uh, build for a 5 inch quad because I wanted to start off with something simple and keep everything as budget as possible because I don't intend to perform serious FPV moves as of yet. Mostly because I'm a complete newbie to this side of the hobby and secondly I have no experience flying these cords either. So that's why I have decided to give it a try with the least amount of money possible. So to start off uh, I'll give you a brief of my cord that I've built and we'll start with the frame first. So it's the good old popular clone of the Apex Alien which is the Martian 2 that I got and I got it for $26 from a local hobby shop. So I'm using the Martian FPV 250mm frame. So the next are the motors. So I'm using these ready to sky 2205 2300kV brushless motors which cost me $41 in total for 4 motors. At first I had configured the motors uh, with the beta flight motor configuration but then I reversed the motor direction so that I have props out and from what I've tested I can tell you is that these motors are actually quite good they don't heat up even on 4S and uh, I haven't had any issues as of yet and because they're cheap I can easily replace them if I need to so that's also another bonus next up is the ESC so I decided to go with individual ESC rather than using a 4-in-1 ESC uh, mostly because I could easily swap an ESC if it's damaged or if it breaks uh, from a crash so that way I can replace it and I can also save a couple of bucks rather than replacing a full 4-in-1 uh, ESC if it gets damaged so and I'm using the YRC BL Heli S uh, ESC which can support from 3 to 4S LiPo power and the except DSHOT 600 mode protocol and I got these for $35 in total so 4 ESCs for $35 and these are 30 amp by the way you also get 20 amp version of this after that is the flight controller I'm glad I could find the Omnibus F4 V2 Pro flight controller which comes with Betaflight OSD so that I don't have to buy another OSD module to monitor stuff like RSSI, battery voltage and I can also change some settings on the go as well plus it also has current sensor built in so I can monitor the amp draw like I said and it also has a SD card slot to log in the black box data for further monitoring of data if required. So I got the flight controller for $36 and I actually have two of these. One is in the squad and the other one I'm using in my Yeti XL RC card uh, which you might have seen in one of my previous video. Next is the radio and again I decided to go as budget as possible so so I picked up the Flysky FSI 6X which you may have seen in my previous videos as well. So I got this for $65 with the i10 receiver. But that's not what I've used in this quad. Instead I've used the uh, X6B receiver which supports SBUS. And it can also output RSSI with the software mod that I've done. So that's the receiver that I'm using in this quad. And that cost me $17. And it's a diversity receiver so it has two antennas and I'll soon post a video on how you can get the RSSI for the receiver as well. Next up is the video transmitter and receiver. So the transmitter I'm using is the EWRF 5.8 GHz 25 to 600 mW adjustable transmitter uh, that also supports smart audio and that's what I learned recently when building this quad. So I'm actually using the smart audio from the transmitter. So that way I can adjust the power and the frequency from my radio directly. I'll also post a video on that as well because I had some trouble getting it working so, so that video will definitely help some of you guys. And for the receiver I'm using this OTG style Skydroid receiver which is no good for FPV but for time being I'm just using this. So the video transmitter and receiver cost me about $40 like a year ago. And my FPV camera is the Runcam Swift 2 with a 2.1mm lens. And to mount my GoPro, I'm using a standard GoPro mount which I've stuck to the top plate. 
and I either use a velcro strap or zip ties to secure it in place. And I'm using the Tattoo Funfly 4S LiPo battery which has a capacity of 1550 milliamps and it has a discharge rate of 100C which equates to 155 milliamps of continuous discharge and I got it for $32 and I'm also using the rubber pads to dampen the motor vibrations along with the foam that I got with the frame which I've stuck at the bottom so this along with the battery strap must be around 10 to 15 dollars so and because i'm using velocity drone to practice in the simulator so that cost me 25 dollars so i've spent about 300 to 325 dollars to build this quad now the major equipment that's missing is the fpv goggles because i still have to buy one and i'm looking at the skyzone cobra s or the cobra x version so hopefully in a few weeks i should have a fpv goggle with me so yeah, that's pretty much what my setup is for this FPV cord that I've built for the very first time. So in my next videos, I'll show how I solved a few problems that I faced while building this cord. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my new uploads. And please make sure to like the video and you can comment if you have any suggestions or questions like always. And thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.